to prove that these bumblebees are really as sweet as I say. Oh my, you can see that really well. Good eye, I'm Mo Johnson. And what we have in here are some very lively bumblebees. They're big. And they certainly look mad. If someone were to see some of these guys flying around, they would probably panic. And the funny thing is, however intimidating bumblebees look, as long as they're not defending a nest, they're pretty harmless. The best way to prove that? Well, I might have a little idea on the subject. You know what I'm going to do? To prove that these bumblebees are really as sweet as I say, in with the hand. Hang on, actually, wait. I'm going to put my hand inside this container for five minutes. All right, you ready? Starting the timer, and in I go. All righty. Got a hand inside a box of beads. Let's see if I can get one to come on my hand. Oh my, yes I can. These guys are... It's always a little nerve-wracking to be in physical contact with a stinging insect, and that's just part of life. <laughs> that's just my natural instinct going. These guys can sting, be careful. My hand actually getting cooled down because I can feel when they buzz their wings. It cools my hand down. It's so powerful. Now, don't get me wrong. If I was to actually grab one of these bees, squish one of these bees, press it up against the side or something, they would whip around and sting in self defense, no doubt. But that's, but that's what any animal would do, really. Ooh, they get mad when I blow. Ugh. Oh, shoot. That almost got scarier than I wanted. On my hand. That's fine. Oh, they're, so, they're really actually kind of cute. I don't know if those out there who, don't, who are allergic to bees or don't like bees or wasps are going, what? But these are really kind of cute. They really are. Ooh. Honestly, this is probably, I'm kind of calling this, you know, it's a little different, one of the, one of my free handling episodes. I think this is probably the least stressful one I think I've ever had. The spider was more, the spider was difficult because it kept trying to crawl up my arm, like way up my arm, so I couldn't see it, then it would probably bite if I couldn't, if I accidentally did something wrong with the spider. The wasp was just, it looked like a kind of cranky wasp. And the uh, assassin bug, the uh, the uh, milk, ooh, milkweed assassin bug was also kind of intimidating. But these guys are just little sweeties. Yeah, I know they can sting. I know it can hurt. But they gotta be the nicest thing in that I've ever worked with. Let's go ahead and get this one to come out my hand. Come on. Hop on, hop on, hop on, get around. Okay. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Woo, that was fun. Yeah, I think it was fun. I'm gonna just move off my hand. This one's new, like a doll. This one's a little bit trickier. Oop, try to get them both on. <sighs> Let's see. Oh, I can pet him. I am petting a bumblebee. That was awesome. Okay, I, can't get, I don't, I don't want to get too over ambitious by petting them too much, though. That'll just make them mad if I do it too much, I reckon. Kind of tangled up there, aren't they? Mm -mm. Here we go. It is so cool every time they fly off my hand that I can feel buzz, buzz, buzz. Look at that. 
Oh, this is so awesome. Okay, we're down to about the last half minute or so. So I'm going to go in and just try to pick one last guy up here. Ooh, let's see if I can get this one. Oh, yeah, right on me. Look at that. This is fun. This is this is actually... The other ones were kind of like... Oh, gosh, it's on my hand. Okay, this is a little bit scary, but it's coming. It's working out. This, I am having fun. Like, I'm... Oh, this one's getting kind of close to the exit, though. I'm just full out having... Oh, time's up. I'm just full out. I just full out had fun there. That was awesome. Well, thank you guys for being such good sports with that video. I'll let you guys go soon. Alright, probably won't work. But for the last of this episode, I'm going to try to pull one out here with my tweezers. Whoa. That's actually working out excellent. I've got a bumblebee in the fork. Look at that. Oh, and look at that. Yeah, he's definitely a... Definitely a she. It's a stinging female. I'm going to let this one go, buddy. Oop, tumbles out. He buzzes off. Bye, bud. Oop, he's kind of buzzing her. Oh, there he goes. Okay, let's see if I can get the other one out. If I get this one out, I can try to get a close-up of the stinger for you guys. Here we go. Oop, shoot. Dang it. I think now they know what to expect. Oh, it's going to get harder and harder. Right here. If you don't nail them on the first... I've learned this... In fact, if you don't nail them on the first shot, it gets progressively harder. And B's body shape makes it really hard. I got, like, the perfect shot on the other one. Ah. Uh, yes! Ready for this? Come on. Oh my, you can see that stinger well. Hey, buddy, here we go. Bye. Well, I'm Wolf Johnson, and we had a whole lot of fun on this episode. We made it with Bumblebees weren't aggressive. I also proved that since I saw both the stingers come out, they were both females. They can both sting, so yeah. Now we had a whole lot of fun on this episode. I'll see you again soon.